It has been more than 10 years since we launched Android, and your apps has been at the heart of their success. As the platform grows, so have the user's expectation, from privacy to user experience. Today, app developers need to make sure that their app not only works, but works well, and that it takes advantage of the latest Android features. We know you want your apps to offer a great user experience, but we also understand that there are a lot of competing priorities. So we have created the new app quality section at developers.android.com slash quality to help you keep up with key aspects of app quality and provide related resources. The first thing you will notice is an updated app quality checklist, which takes into account of the advances of recent Android releases, as well as the current state of the app ecosystem with things such as dark theme. This checklist covers five main areas of quality, and here are some highlights to those sections. In visual experience, in addition to dark theme, we have added check items to best support gesture navigation. Edge-to-edge -edge screens are now commonplace for Android, even for entry-level devices. Supporting gesture navigation is no longer a niche concern. We have a separate video highlighting some of the new recommendations in more details. Be sure to check it out. In app functionality, we made three sets of updates. For media applications, we have updated our recommendations around the playback experience as well as codec recommendations. In sharing, we highlight the importance of using the Android system share sheet, especially as there are new restrictions around access to the list of installed apps in Android 11. This is typically used in a custom share sheet. Last but not least, under functionality, we have updated the background processing guidance. In principle, developers should minimize the amount of background work in their app and test any remaining background work is compatible with both those and app standby. As a direction of travel, developers should expect restrictions to background work to continue to tighten. This is so that we can be more transparent to the user about what is currently running and be more battery efficient in future releases of Android. In performance and stability, we added tooling now available under Android Vitals in the Google Play Developer Console, as well as additional guidance to test and reduce app startup time. One point worth highlighting is around the Android Not Responsive or ANR warnings. There's a common misconception that this is caused by device performance. In reality, this is caused by threading mistakes. Please check out this guide on how to diagnose and resolve ANRs in your app. We're working on more performance-related tooling, and we will update this section as they become available. As security and privacy continue to be a focus area, we highlight the latest safeguard built into Android, from runtime permission to securely using web views. In addition, we've also added privacy best practices to help you create apps that give user both control and transparency over data access. This includes guidance like using resettable IDs and scope storage. Last but not least, a friendly reminder to comply with the Google Play policy around appropriate contents, content quality, not to mislead users around the app's functionality, and address user review comments. Going forward, you can expect three things around app quality from us. First, the app quality checklist will be updated on a quarterly basis to provide the latest up-to-date best practices. Second, we plan to update the quality checklist for other form factors such as tablets and Wear OS. Lastly, this is just the beginning for app quality. We're working on additional tools and best practices to make it easier for you to build quality applications on Android. We hope that these new guidelines make it easier for you to stay up to date with the most important things you can do to build great apps.